Howdy folks, Mike Ritland here. Today I'm going to talk about everybody's favorite training item, the retractable leash, if you're a soccer mom anyway. I'm going to talk to uh, you guys about in conjunction with this beautiful pink harness as well. More importantly, what I'm going to tell you about is why I don't like either one of these things, generally speaking. Um, one of the most common problems I find uh, being approached about is that my dog pulls on a leash. Why is that? Uh, half of it is because you're letting them pull, i.e. you've not taught them not to pull. Uh, but the other thing is a simple opposition reflex, is that uh, tracking dogs, uh, weight pulling dogs, sled dogs, what do they all wear to help accommodate them pulling? These fucking things, okay? So if you put a, a harness on your dog, expect them to pull. It's, that's what it's for. Uh, it's not to teach them not to pull so that it's not around their neck. Newsflash is that that's much more comfortable for pulling, which is why they're going to pull on it. Um, in conjunction with the fact that it's not just more comfortable, but the way that it's set up, it's distributing that weight evenly around their, their chest and at the base of their neck uh, so that they're going to be able to pull a lot harder. Um, when that, that opposition reflex is on there, uh, just like trying to play tug of war with a dog, is that they're natu naturally going to oppose that, which is going to exacerbate it. In comes everybody's favorite retractable leash. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you I've never used these. I have, but here's where I've used them. In, uh, in training with professional canine handlers in certain circumstances where either the terrain dictated needing something like this or doing building searches where uh, it was complex enough to where they didn't want the dog off leash depending upon what was going on to wanting to maintain positive control uh, and picking the slack up uh, again depending on an operational environment if you're not clearing houses with SWAT teams ditch the fucking retractable leash and here's why two reasons number one is that generally speaking they're pretty chintzy and they break easily number two is that the actual retractable portion okay it's actually pulling on the dog. It's doing the exact same thing that I'm talking about with that reverse or opposition reflex. Okay, if it's pulling on the dog's collar or harness, that's naturally going to make them want to pull against it. Okay, so if you're trying to keep your dog from pulling on a leash, stop using these fucking things because they don't work. Uh, they don't work for trying to get them to not pull. If you're trying to get your dog to pull, then by all means use one of these. Um, it's actually pretty simple stuff. The biggest thing you want to do is, is keep a nice general flat collar on your dog so that you can maintain positive control with them, uh, but you also want to teach them not to pull on it, okay? And ditch the gentle leaders, ditch all of the other bullshit that's going to physically manipulate the dog from either trying to pull or getting them to pull and using correction measures to get them to stop pulling. Instead, reinforce good behavior and teach them how to walk on a leash properly by using reinforcement techniques and simple association uh, techniques that we talked about in the uh, online training. Uh, long story short, shit can these, get a regular leash, a regular collar, teach your dog how to walk on a leash properly. Thanks.